Welcome to Four Stories Dublin. When here I am, along with Dean and Paul. And for some reason, someone decided to remake The Crow. And we are going to watch the trailer and we are going to have our discussions because things, because like The Crow, like The Crow itself, things can never truly stay dead. I've never seen even the original one. Yeah. You have to. I don't know. Like, this is the thing. He dies. Some of it, yeah, he dies to come re back. That's yeah, the whole thing of the crow. This is probably going to be the first 30 minutes of the film, and then it'll be like, but why? Because, like, the whole point is that, you know, the original film was presented as a mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I have to say, visually, some of the stuff is very interesting. Do you know what I mean? It's done very well. But. I will say it does. Um, it is a bit of a nice contrast between uh, the Tim Burton Batman inspired kind of look that was in the ninety four film. That looks like Batman. That looks like Batman Begins. Yeah. There, like, I mean, looks more it's like ver that. Very, like so action wise, it's not bad. It looks like they got people that were working on John Wick involved. So tell me, like. Like this is now going into Phantom and on the opera type of thing. Every every like every time he comes back and he dies and then come back again. How it works is well this this film has changed it a bit. Like it, I can see that's T board, the character T board. T board had dreadlock dreadlocks in it. The remake, it's like a remake, right? Now the thing is basically he got killed. So when he came back, he's got a limited time on earth to avenge what he has to avenge. But during that time, he's immortal till mm. he achieves what he does. It's for his journey to get back to the afterlife. Right. He must get his for the soul to go over to the other side. He must repent. He must itch get his revenge. Like, Does it feel... Oh, I'm intrigued because of being scared, to be fair. Does it feel like he kind of said, got tips off his brother how to do a little bit of a Floki at times? Doesn't he? He looks like Floki and more so yeah. in this, doesn't he? Especially yeah. with the face tattoos and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'll be damned. They finally broke the curse of remaking it. Have they, though? I don't know. Um, yeah, that course could follow you, man. It could be like... Um, We'll see if it actually continues, but like the thing about the crow is that there is an interesting background to this. Oh, James O'Barr. Yeah, on James O'Barr. He lost see, his wi wife and yeah. child in a car accident. Yeah, his wife um, yeah, died in a. His fiance actually idea. died in a drunk driving accident, and he wrote the comic book as a way to help cope with that. To it process didn't help that. him though. It didn't really. He help said him. it actually made it worse. He had to relive it for the rest of his life. Then through the crow. Is that the same? Thing? So, was that so, the yeah. same production on the Brandon where Brandon Lee died? Yes. Yeah. So there was a car there was a comic book, The Crow, which was Eric Draven. And what happened was there um they made the film. Then they tried to do sequels. So the idea that coming back as the crow, like you get killed one time, then someone in England that happens to someone and it's meant to be the spirit that your spirit yeah. cannot rest. Till it comes back they did make vengeance. a sequel but that loads, had a trouble production loads and they made a tv series as well yeah. now i'm watching this and if this film wasn't called the crow i think it would have worked for me gotta have that ip though no and that is the problem that they made this film and they put serious people behind it for the reason that if they didn't use it they would have lost intellectual property on it the studio would have and that's yeah. why they had to remake it now 
as I said, if that film wasn't The Crow, they changed out a few bits and the character names and stuff. If it was an uh, entirely uh, original I, I film. Would have, I, original film. I actually was okay with that because I have to say, some of the imagery looks Nolan-esque. It looks good. But it just, for me, as somebody that was mad about the original, it just doesn't have the same soul. Like, for instance, right, Skarsgård is brilliant there, right? Um, and actually, one of our viewers requested this. Now, we're a bit late to the game, but as I said, we have been working on other productions. And this was what Saza said. Saza was on to me through, the, through our Instagram, the Four the first Stories Instagram. Bill Skarsgård's costume looks amazing, but of, although it doesn't obviously hold a candle to the Brandon Lee original, and I think he's a fantastic actor, but the tone of the new trailer doesn't come across as sterile, generic, too modern, if that makes sense. Maybe I'm being too harsh, but I feel it's one of them movies that didn't need to be remade. The original was like capture and lightning in a bottle. And I have to say, fair play, Saza. I, she got uh, this. Yeah, yeah she, she got this. She's a huge, she has the hot toy yeah. of... Because uh, the thing of, about... Of, 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 of it and the whole lot. And she's very good with this sort of yeah. stuff. So I, the thing about the original 94 film is that it wasn't really just a gothic, uh, depressing horror. It was not that kind of movie. It was a kind of movie that was... Um, but it was, that was about got, hope. Uh, it was about love. It was love. gothic. And then when you got the gothic bit, you would get the hope through Sarah. Yeah, and basically he was between worlds. He was a de- he was a dead man living on earth and such yeah. until he achieved. So the original had Ernie Hudson, and I don't know if anyone's seen a picture of Ernie Hudson recently. He's seventy eight. He looks like he's forty four. He looks better now than he did in this film. That's cool. Right? Uh, Ernie Hudson is brilliant, and I like like I was looking at this film, and just for me, like if it wasn't the crow, I would have been okay with it. If it was a Bill Skarsgård film, I think that's what I needed. I think Shelley was such a strong character, and like that, he was never actually quite getting to meet her in it, and it was always flashbacks, which was Sof- Sophia's Spices. Spices. Sophia Shines. Shines. She was brilliant. This girl, F A F K A Twigs. Like I don't know. Uh, I don't not, know. Uh, there's nothing drawing me to her, man. But no soul there. The thing I'm worried but about is that. But that's not her fault. I think it's the script. I think, but yeah. just I'm not connected to that. Like you know that the only thing that was keeping when he was becoming the crow and he when Eric Drive, uh, Brandon Lee was running around like a lunatic, the the pe- person the things that were keeping him humane was Shelley, and she was oh, also yeah. the source of pain for the power of him. And Sarah and Ed's er, Eddie Hudson. But Ernie Hudson. Di- Ber- sorry, Ber- 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 Ernie, Hudson. Er, Ernie Hudson. The thing but that I'm worried FKA about. Twigs, she's just flat, man. The thing that I'm worried about the most is that, judging by the trailer, this is going to be the first 20, 30 minutes of the film, which I uh, no, Because, like, the whole point is that, you know, Eric and Shelley's love story is presented as flashbacks throughout the film because, like, you already see Eric Draven dead. It literally begins at the crime scene, and it begins with him rising from the grave. He starts to remember. He starts to revisit the events. And such... Um, it's and like such a PTSD a, film, wasn't it? Yeah, but such it's a structure... Emotion. Such a structure makes the film even more poignant and even more sad when you come to realize why he is the way he is through the action. You know, that scene when um, that scene when Eric Draven reenacts the, reenacts the murder and it cuts in between, his, window, between yeah. when he was dying and when, um, he, when his corpse was still living and like such poignant stuff. Poignant, beautiful oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can ever do that. Even, that e- e- even the set like, design, like the born building so and good. all, and how he does the makeup on him. So, now, it's so some people, one of the big problems people have is they, with the makeup and the way they've gone. Now, I understand them maybe not being a rocker in this. She's more of a rapper type of dude, right, or whatever, right, uh, Eric Draven. I don't well, know if that fits. You well, gotta like. But the thing is. The makeup looks a bit jokerish, and not the good one. It was the suicide joker. Do you know what I mean, Jared Leto? Now I would say I've watched Jared Leto, and they re-edited a scene with Heath Ledger in in the hospital room with Two Face, and he edited it in the same manner that he did the Suicide Squad, and it made Heath Ledger look crap. 
Now we know all know that Heath Ledger was amazing in that film, but we there, there was editing and editing problems him. with that film. But for me, like I just kind of feel it's a very modern. I understand what they're trying to do, but everybody in it, like for instance, I was looking at the bodies, and the body in the original was Michael Wincroft, and he's just creepy and odd, and he's brilliant. But they've got Danny Houston is in as this the body, and I like Danny Houston. But Danny Houston's a body in everything. He always plays the same kind of body. I'll be probably watching this, and it'll be like watching X Men, uh, or sorry, yeah, uh, watching Wolverine Origins. Do you get me? That's it's it's it's, and even I could see like, like T board there. They had someone replace him. It doesn't have the griminess and the grittiness that the original had, and I don't think you'll ever get that. No. See. I don't think it has the soul. And I see, know. like, with, with you still here, you, you are talking about comparisons here from the original and this one. Now, see, I, I personally can't do any comparisons, I haven't seen it. So I'm actually looking at this film as The Crow. Yeah. And We're watching it as, as a as first, first time, time watch. Yeah. And to be honest with you, in my opinion, it looks okay. It looks okay. From what I see, now, obviously, I haven't seen yes. the original. So you obviously and the original already director's see the faults. really pissed with it. Yeah, you, you, like the, Alex, the, uh, what is it? Alex Proyas. Pro Proyas. He's gone mad because it was Brandon Lee's legacy. He wanted the a last left film. alone. For, now that's totally understandable. The man died making this film. He did. So really, and it was uh, very similar in instance to Rust that the having the wrong ammunition, the guns, and the safety inspections and not that's, being that's done right. And that's the point as well behind the scenes. Some people don't understand some of the safety precautions, these little things that can affect a whole a whole life, let alone a whole set. Do, do you know what I mean, man? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I'll watch it. But as I said, if I hadn't watched The Crow, the original one, I may have walked in with a different opinion. Now, I do like Bill Skarsgård. Like, the original, he had the crow, and the crow was like his entity. So, like, if I'm, I'm here, that crow would fly out the window, and it, like, it was like a drone, a track for you. Do you get me? And that's where his powers come from. In this, he just has the vulnerability. There's no crow, and the crow was always the messenger. So it was always a reminder that he wasn't meant to be on Earth for too long. Do you get me? Your man was mm -hmm. bringing him back. And Danny Houston seems to be some kind of generic demon in it. Hmm. And it's just kind of... Yeah. I'm not feeling it. I will watch it, as I said. I, it's it's like we were talking about Roadhouse. Action-wise, Roadhouse, the fighting-wise, fighting, fighting wise was brilliant. Uh, Top-notch. Right. And I could see the fighting in this be great. And I could see why they picked Bill Skarsgård. But mm -hmm. just for me, Eric Draven will always be Brandon Lee. Yeah. I don't care. I think the thing about that trailer is that I don't think it captures, I really don't think it has the vulnerability no. or the soul or like even the horror the 94 film had. No. And like the, and like the thing is that, you know, <clears throat> maybe the final film could be different from the trailer. Maybe it could be proven wrong and say this is probably good. But I don't feel it in that trailer, and I probably won't feel that in the final film because yeah, yeah, yeah. the '94 film had such uh, it has quite and the, the music's legacy. Music's amazing, it's, and it, it had quite the it legacy had, as had, a film, had, yeah, but as had, a phenomenon. It had such an influence. Yeah, like people talk about the mar mar modern Marvel and modern DC and all that. The big one, as, as I was saying earlier, Chadwick Bowman was brilliant as Black Panther, mm -hmm. but they made out he was like the fourth black action here, uh, Marvel action hero. You're like Blade, man. Blade. Blade. And, and it, what they nice. gave us was a softened down version of what we got on Blade when they started doing the Marvel films. I understand they wanted to sell to the 12s and they treated Blade as an older film. But The Crow was hugely influential, the original. Like, there's scenes from that that then you will see in some of the Batman films and the influence, like the table scenes and the way they had the mad rednecks in it and these weirdos in it. I ju I see they're trying to do it, but they're doing it in a modern way and it's just not taken off. Like when I see the new T-board, I know that's T-board. He doesn't yeah. have the character. Like all of a sudden, the older actor, he had mm -hmm. the dreads and he was big leather and he was the guy with the knives. 
and all that. But there was just something about him. He took up the screen yeah. where that guy just could. He looks generic. You kind Everybody of kind of looks feeling. generic. You kind of got the feeling that this doesn't. You kind of got the feeling that this was more of a sterilized kind of version. Like it doesn't really have the grittiness. It doesn't really have the gothicness. It doesn't really have anything here. It's more like here's this city. Here's like all of these people in like just regular clothes. Oh, but we got the makeup. We got the coat. We got mm. everything. And no, like the whole point is that the whole point is of the crow is that the crow when you see them through the story. Yeah, but when you see the city in the 94 film, it was supposed to be gothic. It was supposed to be messy. It was supposed to be a world full of crime. Well, it was and all it based reflected on, yeah. the, it was the coming from and the, the journey of the character. Because he had the whole thing in Detroit that what that came from was they had a thing in the Devil's Night in Detroit. So it's like Halloween. So there's loads of empty buildings in Detroit. So they celebrate Devil's Night. Now, they've tried to turn it into a boy, kind of more, you know, bonfires and what we do here. But people used to burn down buildings on Devil's Night. So that's why kind of where that came from. But yeah, and even the guy, like the guy that was in the pawn shop, like, yeah. he's a horrible looking man. And he, he's just brilliant in it. This. You got nothing. This, 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 this for me, I'll watch it. It might, some of the scenes might be good, but as a film, I don't know if I, I mean, I, I can buy it. Me neither. Uh, I like Just Scar-Skart. stop doing so many remakes and stop prioritizing IP. Start They're prioritizing the, start prioritizing the artists and what they want to say. They could have changed that in maybe 10, 12 ways, right? And that wouldn't be the crow. It'd be influenced by the crow. Call it something else. Yeah. That's what I think they should have done. Yeah. But look, what do you think? Um, Dean's kind of happy enough to see it. But as you said, you don't you don't have a, a preset set idea. No, of look, I, I don't know who any of these uh, T Bone is that you're talking about. Yeah, or, yeah. Or, 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 or uh, driving around. Yeah. So like, I, I just I, I, I just seen from what I've seen here. I uh, see Bill Skarsgård and he's dying. He's going back. So it's like it's kind of like John Wick, but he heals. That, believe it? I didn't want to say it, and that's what I thought in my head. I'm like, this is like a. A, a, a dark gothic version he's of John Wick. Like Wolverine walking around, isn't yeah. he? Now at least they were creative that he he pretends to be dead and then he goes at them or turns through himself. Like action wise, I think this will be. This actually doesn't really look good, but story wise, yeah. soul wise, I in, just in don't my think opinion, it will I, be I, I personally don't think it looks that bad. Like I yeah. I know I'll go and see it and I'm, I'll probably sit down and enjoy it. And if I see this, I won't watch the original. I I de- I, de- I definitely won't. I know I know okay. for a fact. So I don't know if, if But look though, that's everybody's entitled to their opinion, man, you know? Right. So I think on that note, we'll we'll give it a wrap. Yeah. That's right. So thank you so so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and follow us on all of the socials that will be in the description. Right? Yep. And as always, from from all of us, have a good day and we wish you the very best. Thank you and goodbye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.